Hi, so my name is Adrian, welcome to the channel, English with Adrian. Do you want to expand your vocabulary, learn new words, and increase your confidence, not to mention speak like a native Englishman? Then subscribe, and hit the bell notification next to it. But, let's get started, let's look at question tags. Question tags, so, they are small questions at the end of a question you use to invite someone to agree with you. To invite them. To invite them, isn't it? To invite them, yeah? So we could say, well, mainly in in informal conversation, so general chit-chat, conversational, you know, with your friends at the pub, as opposed to at court, for example, or in front of a judge, or anything else like that, or as the parliament. So let's look at some examples. Well, we use the be, actually, the be verb, with a matching pronoun, which is interesting. So let's look. The film is great. The film's great. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Here's the be verb and the matching pro pronoun. Film, it. It, film. The film is great. Isn't it? Isn't it? Asking, a, turning a statement into a question. It tags along, creates a, set, creates a question out of it. She is beautiful. She's beautiful, isn't she? Isn't she? She is beautiful, isn't the be isn't the is state of being is is she? Isn't isn't she? Matching pronoun again. Oh, she's beautiful, isn't she? It's big, isn't it? It's really loud, isn't it? He's quite smart, isn't he? He is smart. That's really weird, isn't it? That's really, that's really weird, isn't it? Mm. You're hot. Woo! You're hot, aren't you? Aren't you? You're you hot, aren't you? State of being, you, aren't you? Yeah, it well, depends where you are. If you're in, say, Spain or Mexico, woo! You are hot. If you're in Australia, no, you're cold. If you're in, I don't know, well, it's hot. Morocco, Mauritania, ooh, then you are hot. Ooh, <laughs> the desert and sand there. Sahara, <laughs> hot there. So, you're hot, aren't you? Yeah. So, that's nice little question tags. Little informal send, a little, a, little, a, little, a little informal question at the end to invite people to agree. Let's keep going. There's always more to learn. It's worth understanding that the tag is opposite to the verb, opposite to the sentence. So if you've got a positive sentence, the car is fast, the door is big, she is beautiful, it is hot. Positive in the sense of the is verb, the is, as opposed to isn't, is, isn't. Positive, negative, is. The car is fast. Then the tag is always the opposite. The car is fast, so it's positive, we have a negative tag, isn't, isn't it? The car's fast, isn't it? Well, I heard the car is fast, isn't it? I heard the train is fast, isn't it? I, I heard the train will, I heard the plane will leave soon, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? I'm not sure, would it? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? It would. It would leave soon, wouldn't it? Hmm. But then let's look at negative. Negative statement. The book isn't very good. It's not very, not very good. The uh, um, the sun, the sun isn't very hot today. It isn't very loud today. Oh, the nose is very, isn't very itchy today. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. I'm not careful. Oh, the book isn't very good. Positive tag, so a negative statement. Negative isn't, <coughs> isn't, but the positive tag is. The book isn't very good, is it? No, not really. These pens aren't very useful, are they? No. Well, these pens don't have much ink in them, do they? No. No. So, interesting little caveat. This, the, the tag is always opposite of the sentence, always opposite of the verb. Isn't, is, are, aren't, do, don't. Well, let's look at do and don't auxiliary verbs next. So, let's keep going. There's always more to learn. Let's keep going. 
Let's have a look at how auxiliary verbs and the tenses affect the question tag. So, in the present simple, it can be followed by do or does. Do or does. Jessica plays the guitar, doesn't she? Doesn't she? I record videos, don't I? I am wearing suspenders, or well, aren't I? Or well, do you? Well, no. Tom... Tom wears a tuxedo, doesn't he? Doesn't he? Tuxedo, doesn't he? Tom wears a tuxedo, positive. Doesn't he? Negative, yeah. But in the past simple, uses did. James studied business, didn't he? Jessica studied law, didn't she? Well, I thought, I thought Tom studied maths, didn't he? Oh, I don't know. I heard Tiago studied basket weaving, didn't he? Didn't he? Basket weaving, didn't he? Oh, I'm not sure otherwise. I said oh, I don't know. Don't know. I don't know. Then. Huh. So past simple did, did um, in the past tense did. I did this. You did that. Present simple, do and does. What someone is doing, what someone is, what someone does. But then it gets a bit interesting, actually. So statements with auxiliary verbs. Repeat. You haven't been to France, have you? So we've got haven't. If it's got, if it's got a form of have, positive or negative, in the statement, and the question tag follows suit. <laughs> Oh, I haven't had much sleep, haven't I? I don't look it. Oh, you have, you have been to Germany, haven't you? I thought you did. Maybe you didn't. I'm not sure now. They haven't, they haven't come back from holiday, have they? I, I didn't know. I haven't heard them. I didn't know. Same with modal verbs. So modal verbs repeat. Could, would, should. Possibility. Things that could happen. Tom should... Tom should have started his own business, shouldn't he? He should have, shouldn't he? Mm. Tiago shouldn't have studied basket weaving. He shouldn't have, should he? He shouldn't have done something, maybe? Tiago really should have studied, say, um, say poetry instead. Don't you, shouldn't he? James could have, James could have studied at university. Couldn't he? Couldn't he? Jessica, Jessica would have learned to be a doctor, wouldn't she? It, it, Jessica would have learned to be a doctor if something, wouldn't she? If it wasn't that, if it wasn't that thing, wasn't she? Should. I should have recorded this video earlier, shouldn't I? Don't you think? Maybe I should have. I'm, not, I'm really not sure. Hmm. Never mind, eh? I should have. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. So interesting stuff. Present simple, do, does. Doing and does. Past simple, did. Statements, auxiliary verbs, have. They, re they reflect them over. Haven't, have. Have, haven't. Consistent. They repeat. Modal verbs, repeat also. Tom should have learned English, shouldn't he? Should, shouldn't, shouldn't, should. Again, always the opposite. Positive here, negative there. Negative here, positive there. Cool. Let's keep going. The other thing to consider is annotation. Where the voice goes, or goes, depending on the sentence, depending on the question. So, it'll go up. Up. When I need an answer from you, when you need to answer I need a reply, I need an answer, I need information, yes or no, or beyond. You'd like to go to France, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? You'd like to go to Germany, wouldn't you? Maybe they'd like to go to, to Morocco with you, wouldn't they? Would they? Wouldn't they? I don't know. Wouldn't they? Go and ask them, you tell me, you tell me. I'm waiting, go and ask them. Gordon Bennett. All right, but then it goes down, down, down. When inviting to agree, inviting to agree, yeah, you and I think alike. Invite, come along, agree, agree, yes, agree, agree.
That's better, good agree. You've met Michael, haven't you? You've met Michael, haven't you? You have? Again, positive and negative. You've met Michael, haven't you? Haven't you? You've been to Mauritania? You've been to Mauritania, haven't you? Haven't you? You haven't been to France, have you? Have you? Oh, how peculiar. Never knew. So that's just the way a tonal voice changes. Down, inviting to agree. Agree with me. And up, requiring an answer. Yeah, how cool is that? But, if you want to keep learning English, don't you? Keep learning English, expanding your vocabulary, wouldn't you? And, and speaking like a native Englishman, couldn't you? Then hit the subscribe button below and press the bell notification next to it for the latest videos and uploads. Until then, bye for now.